All right, and welcome back to Chrono Cross, everybody. This is episode four. In our last episode, we had an incident happen down here at Opasa Beach, and we passed through this rock only to discover that nobody is remembering us in Arne Village. We learned that Surge of this area seems to be dead, apparently. Lena told us that we should visit his grave at Cape House, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Alright, it's a little different from the last time we were here. A couple more beach bones. Two more chests. Let's go ahead and grab this. Another bone. That's surprising that we didn't end up in a battle there, but that's alright. We don't need to. We're going to head right up to the edge of the cliff here. Alright. There's something here. Asking Poshol to back off. Give us some privacy. There was some writing on the tombstone. R.I.P. Our beloved Surge died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. That's kind of sad. So, you must be the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago, Surge. What? Ghost? Marshall! Don't move! Sorry, Junior, but we have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. But Sir Karsh, do you think it's truly true that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't he? Didn't we? Now seize him! Hold your sea horses! Now to eat, meet the other protagonist. <laughs> Kinda. She is a protagonist, but she's one of the weirder ones. You'll understand. Who the... Nice jump. Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Or now do you? Shut your trap. You're the ones who'd better get out of the way. You have a problem... Do you have a shaken idea who you're dealing with, Missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this axe of mine will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm going to kick your sorry arses so hard you'll kiss the moons. Nice. Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. Alright. So we got Karsh, Salt, and Pepper. Alright, let's see about taking out Pepper first. So if I remember right, he's got a bunch of red innate abilities. Even though his innate is yellow, he has a bunch of red ones that if the field turns red, he'll use them on you. Sir! His innately innate element color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opposite element attribute. Color black. How unfortunately unfortunate. I do not seem to have any, sir. You nincompoop! You should always carry elements of every color. Then how about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, Sir Karsh, show us how it's done. Useless fools. Uh, real men don't need magic when they can fight with the, their might. In other words, he doesn't have any either. Come on. Oh, there's that. We'll use a girl here. No, she's not going to attack Karsh. She's going to attack... So this is actually the character Kid. 
she's one of the few characters in the game that has a ability that lets her steal. Unfortunately, we don't have a high enough star level to use it yet, so she doesn't have access to it. Same with Surge. Like, if I go in here, he doesn't have his level 3 um, slash and dash. Or dash and slash. How rude. Alright, so he's getting weak. Might have to heal kids soon. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, good. Missed. What elements does she have? She has Fireball, Magma Bomb, Tablet, and Fireball. Okay, good to know. So we'll get rid of Salt. We can. Her strength is, leaves a lot to be desired right now. There we go. That was a good attack. Alright, I think we'll spend this turn healing. So we'll go Element, Tablet, and we'll use that on herself. Now, Tablets are consumable, so they only have a limited amount of uses for their gone. Cure, we're going to use that all on ourselves. Alright. Hit us with an axe. Uh, we're going to hit square, and it's going to shift back over to her because she has higher stamina. Now, if you go here and see it says four left, unlike if you go to surge, I don't think it'll let us actually look at it. Uh, yeah, we'll have to come, come back and show you next turn. Start wailing on Karsh here. Okay. Hit him once. Now if we go to Element, Cure is now grayed out. That means we can't use it anymore. You can only use them once per battle, as I'm pretty sure I've said before, but unlike that, consumables can actually be used multiple times. Whale on Karsh some more. Oh, almost. Let's see if I can't hit him with the level three. Aw, oh, missing. Okay. Oh, he's going to use his special, Dragon Rider. Look at that target's kid. Okay, yeah, she had more health. Oh, wow. Okay, that was bad. We're going to use Fireball. Enemies seem to be able to use their special elements multiple times in a battle, which kind of sucks sometimes. Alright, we reached the second star level. Surge got a health boost to 15, which is nice. I was hoping for that. He got strength and resistance. Girl got nine strength nine health, one strength, and one magic. So that's good. Uh did not have any elements I could use. Oh, we got an ivory vest, helmet, and power glove. Ooh, the power glove is really good. All right, Sir Karsh, I say we shake it on out of here so that we can live to fight another day. These aren't no ordinary brats we're dealing with. Damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Oh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on any time. Think I'll lose to scum like you? Ha! You all right, mate? Serge, your name's Serge, ain't it? Oh, me? My name's... Now, I distinctly remember her name having two Ds, but I guess that's not the case. Everything I've been able to look at since then has only had one. It must be one of those Mandala effect things, maybe. Alright. Call me Kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. Just... They just pissed me the bloody hell off. I wish I could have beat them some more. 
But why was that mob after you? I have no idea. What do you mean you've never even met him before, eh? Ah, forget it. Hey, Serge, how about you and me team up for a while? That Karsh fella ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. So how about it, Serge? Maybe it was fate we'd meet up like this. Now, normally I'd say yes. But if you say yes here, you will never have Lena in your party. So I'm going to say refuse. Hang on. Are you telling me you're going to refuse the company of a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? Bullshit. Dot, 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 dot. You sure there, mate? You might live to regret it, you know. No thanks. Don't worry, you still get kid. She, Like I said, she's one of the main protagonists. So you'll definitely get her later. Well, have it your way, mate. Now don't get me wrong, Kid is a really good party member, and she's generally one of the three that I have in my party most of the time. But this run, we're unfortunately going to be neglecting Kid a lot, because the party member I am specifically running for requires you to uh, kind of treat her badly, unfortunately. You make up for it. I'll be heading north to a town called Termenia. It'll be getting dark pretty soon. I suggest you go find a place to shack up for the night. You don't want to become Hecron bait now. Well, see ya. Q Poshal's magic return. <laughs> it was terrible. They should be kind to animals. Well, you did just get kicked off a cliff. We're back in our not bedroom bedroom. Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. I'm glad I found you here, though. Surge, right? Kind of feels odd calling you that. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you had some kind of accident and hit your head. That's why your memory's all messed up. You're really someone else, but you think you're the Surge who died ten years ago. I want to help you. I can't just leave you alone like this. And you don't seem like such a bad person either. You're planning to do a Termina... Yeah, you're planning to go to Termenia, right? Then let me join you. I have some errands to run over there anyway. And to tell the truth, it feels like I've always known you. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Well, that's that. Shall we get going? All right, and now we have Lena in our party. Now, if you didn't get Poshal earlier, she actually joined your po party with Poshal. Um, but it would be the Poshal from this village, not your own. So it would also not have any memories of you. All right, let's head to Termenia. And we're actually not going to be using Poshal for much longer, because we are going to go pick up somebody else. Now that we have Lena in our party, we can. Now, you can do this much later in the game, but if you followed along with me, then you should be able to do it right here and now. So if you remember right, this was Kiki's house, so we're going to go down into the basement where that fisherman was. Only he's no longer a fisherman. Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Our spent yesterdays are uncertain tomorrows. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item filled with prayers protects us and supports us. 
Come, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Where can you find true love and peace of mind? Within Mojo! Right. So we're going to go up to him and we're going to offer him the shark tooth. This is a tooth from a ferocious lion shark. Look at the size of this thing. Judging from the size, this baby must have been a good 15 feet. Don't tell me you're the one who caught it. Nope, you did. What? What did you say? Another me? So the other me who became a fisherman asked you to give this to me. What are you talking about? That's enough. There's only one me. How can there be another me out there? Sure, there was a point in my life I, when I thought about becoming a fisherman. That was a good ten years ago. But I couldn't do it. I gave up that path right then and there. I just gave up. I don't care what you say. This is the path I chose, and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, would you please put that thing away and leave me alone? Alrighty. Whatever you say. No answer. It seems to just be a straw doll. Now, we're going to go to leave and... Boogum! Hold on a second there. What? What was that? Love is always in the air. It's just that no one notices. Your your mojo? I am mojo, and I bring good fortune. Bogum! This can't be happening. How in the... I sense some kind of purpose. Seems like fun, so I will join you. Well, wait a second. There's nothing droll about me. Just a word of advice. Stop running and come face to face with your life. Ugh. A messenger of love and courage I am. I am lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mojo, join the party. Now, Mojo is a black innate character, which will help us quite a bit. So we're going to switch Poshal out for Mojo. Oh, wow. Poshal got actually a big boost from that last battle. Has 91 health. Alrighty. Lena is actually a really good magic character, so that's why her magic stat is 10. Alright. We'll get going. Now, if I remember right, we can go in here. Go to Mojo. He's a glove character. That's good. No. So we'll give him an ivory helm, and we'll give... Lena and Ivory home. Uh, the Ivory Vest would give her better evade but worse defense. So we'll hang on to that. We are going to give him the Power Glove, boosting our attack from 21 to 22. That's good. Go to Elements, allocate Lena first. And we're going to. Oh, actually, let's go. Can we... We need to go to Poshal. And we're going to remove all. Okay. Make sure that... Yeah, that only did Poshal. So we actually got two new slots now. One level one, one level two. So we're going to fill in the blanks of Surge. And that gave him Fireball and Heal. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, we're so, let's go to our Lena, actually. And we will fill the blanks on her. So I gave her Cure, Aqua Beam, Ice Lance, Electro Jolt, and Magna. Actually, I'm going to switch that for Tablet and the Electro Jolt for Cure. Uh, let's, before we do Mojo. We're going to go see if we can't get him a cure, just so everybody has one. The tablets are definitely useful, but it's better to do it this way. Can I interest you something? Have some great elements? Show me your elements. Yeah, so oh, we have money, so we'll be good. Um, yeah, so there's different status effects that are element-based, like... Poison and green status effects, flu and blue status effects. 
We don't need these at the moment. So I think I think the heal that is now on Surge will work for that. Maybe not. But that's alright. So we're going to go to Mojo and we're going to fill blanks. We don't have any black innate abilities, unfortunately. So we're actually going to switch the uplift and the cure. And for posterity's sake, there. Okay. We are good to go. Alright. Um, we're actually going to go into the Hydro Marshes real quick, because there's a few things we can grab right off the bat. So we talked to this guy. Several years ago, when all the Hydra died off, this woodland became covered with a thick fog, and the waters became polluted and acidic. The real cause was us humans killing off the flora and fauna. I just hope we don't come to regret the destruction we caused. Now this is poison, so we're going to lose health as we run through here, but it's kind of necessary. We're going to go this way. Now this is something you generally do much later in the game, but as of right now there's not any enemies here, so we're going to do it now. run up around this corner here. We could save if we wanted to. Our auto save kicked in as soon as we touched that, so that's good. Alright. And we're going to run up here. Got an electro jolt. So that's good. Alright, now this is the guy we want to talk to. Hey, hey, hey. you got to be crazy to walk around in this forest without protective gear. I have an extra set with me. Take them this way. You'll be able to walk through the marsh without getting hurt. All right, we got the safety gear. So now we can walk through that poison water without taking damage. Oh, and watch out for the monsters lurking deep in the forest. We haven't actually explored those parts yet. We don't know how to get there. So that's going to be later. See, we took a little bit of damage as it is. So I'm actually going to use some tablets. And then... If you go to items, we'll see. Each item has its own little picture, which is nice. Alright. Poison and resistant clothing that explore that an exploration party had spare to lend the amateur adventurers. Now we can grab that other chest that was sitting down in the poison. And that's really all there is to do in the Hydra Marshes right now. Uh, the Hydra Marshes are generally a much more important uh, section of the game if you choose to help kid which as i said we're unfortunately going to be neglecting her this round all right run down in here see we're not taking any damage now get our tablet or one of our tablets back all right Next stop, Fossil Valley, which is up here, which leads to Termenia. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. We'll get that squared away and get decided on our next few party members. As it is, take it easy, everybody. I'll see you next time.